You have learned so far how to pass data from a controller to a view, and now you'll learn how to pass data from a view to a controller. In ASP.NET MVC, data can be passed from a view to a controller using several methods. You can pass them using query strings, and in this case, the data is passed in the URL as key value pairs. You can pass them using route data, and in this case, the data is passed as part of the route configuration. You can also pass them using a form submission. The form submission is the standard way to pass data, and in this case, the inputs in a form are sent to the server when the form is submitted. Now with form submission, you can either pass like properties as separate data to the server, or you can bind them to a model, and then you can pass the model using the form submission. Another way is by using the AJAX calls. Using AJAX calls, you can send a synchronous request with JavaScript or jQuery. Now we are going to talk about all these different ways of passing data from a view to a controller on the upcoming parts one by one. So see you on the next ones.